Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to recover lost data from a micro SD card. For this tutorial, I'm using a micro SD USB card reader 2.0. So I'll insert the uh, micro SD card onto the USB and then plug it onto my computer. This same process applies if you're recovering data from an external hard drive or internal hard drive. The, the micro SD card as the storage device must be in working order. Once plugged in, make sure that it's properly uh, detected by your computer. In this case, it's USB drive letter I. Again, if you're recovering from an external hard drive, make sure that is also detected. As you can see, this uh, micro SD card is empty, has no information. I purposely deleted all information for this video tutorial. This micro SD card used to be used for an SJ Cam 4000. So I should find some videos if it does recover something. For this video tutorial, I'll be using Stellar Phoenix Windows Data Recovery. The link is in the description box below. You can download the free version and search for what you're looking for. If you don't find what you're looking for, then there's no need to pay. This is a great advantage using this program. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll go ahead and run the Stellar Phoenix Windows Data Recovery program. Okay, now by default, everything is checked. That micro SD card, like I said before, used to be used for an SJ cam. So I'm looking for videos. That means I'll uncheck emails and office documents. I'll leave folders there checked because you never know what I might find. And under multimedia files, I'll make sure that photos, audio, and videos is selected because that is what I'm looking for. I'll click on next. And now select the storage you would like to uh, recover your data. In this case is drive local disk I, which is my micro SD card. Like I said before, the same process applies if you're recovering data from an external storage or internal storage. You can also check any of the drives available in this menu. You can also select deep scan, but this program will automatically change to deep scan if it doesn't find anything under quick scan. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to just click on scan and I'll tell you no data found in quick scan. It'll be switching to deep scan. So this is good. Okay, I'll turn off the preview here. This process can take quite some time. I'm gonna leave it here and fast forward the process so you can see. And this is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So you can imagine if you're looking for something in a external hard drive like a one terabyte or 500 gigabyte, it'll take long time so grab a coffee have lunch and then come back done the scanning has completed successfully click on ok now keep in mind that i'm using the free version here and you can see what it recovered now this program only recovers usable data. It doesn't recover corrupted information. It has a few pictures here. Okay, so I want to recover all. I'll just click on recover and it'll prompt me to enter a key. Now this is when you have to pay. So if it didn't find what you were looking for, there's no need to pay. If it did, 
then yes, you will have to pay for the program. Click OK and then select a location where you want to save all your recovered data. In this case, I'll create a uh, folder on the desktop and I'll name this, I don't know, micro SD recovery. I'll browse, browse for that location. Select folder and start saving. This can also take some time. It all depends on how much information it recovered. So now I'll close and here it's asking me if I want to save the scan information. It'll save a little file in your desktop or wherever you save it. So that way when you go back to it, it doesn't, uh, it'll remember all your recovered information. So scan information saved and it'll give you a phone number and a toll free number. You can call in case you didn't find what you were looking for. So I'll access the uh, micro uh, SD recovery folder and here I'll go, I don't know, maybe folder five, folder six. And here are all my videos. These are my latest videos. And as you can see, they're fully functional. It's not corrupted because this program only recovers uh, usable data, no corrupted information. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.